All right, guys. Not in the great spot at the moment. Down over a grand on an Apex Trader valuation account that I just got today. My limit is fifteen hundred. We got to scalp our way back out of this. Um, man, live stream lost that thing. It was up like hundred and fifty bucks or something, and then we just completely blew the uh, wad out of it. We're just gonna have to scalp our way back. Try to record it. We'll throw it up there. See what happens. We may blow the account, which is probably more than likely. This thing is tough to trade at the moment. I didn't get filled on that. You can see where I got short originally over here. and Got stopped out up there. Now it's coming down to my price, of course. God, this thing's frustrating. It's your first time watching one of these videos. I use a multi-time frame approach, multi-chart approach. Um, I think we are coming down this VWAP. God, you can see all this chop in here. This is really bad. I don't have a ton of uh, wiggle room here. I've only got about five hundred dollars in drawdown so this has really got to be clinical at this point just really frustrated in general with uh the way that i've been trading Uh, I know we're going to come down to the VWAP. Just the entries are just not where they need to be. All right, let's let's see what happens. So we're expecting another short, maybe another move down. Um, it's right here at the 20th SMA on the five minute. I want to see what it wants to do down here. This may oops, provide some support for it. Um, you know, sometimes it'll come break through it and wick up. So I'm looking to build a short position, but I'm looking at cumulative delta dropping at the moment. Probably just going on one contract and try to hold this thing for a little bit longer. I don't know if I like that entry at all. I'm getting a little anxious with it. Getting through that 20 SMA. Gonna get out there, 768. See if we break value area low, and then we should probably start really drifting down. Value area low for me was maybe an area of support. You see all these trades on here. This is not a very good trading day. I was having a hard time yesterday too, which is frustrating. All right, let's see if we can find another setup. Okay, so we took some scalps over here. Um, basically, it's just like a retest of VWAP, break VWAP, come back, retest it, short it again. Uh, we're at value area low here, so I kind of want to see what it wants to do. I think we are going to continue to drift down to like 12, 314, which is a pretty good uh, move. You can see here it's trying to come up off a of value area low. Um, that's a pretty aggressive move right there. A lot of trades on that chart. You really got to get your entry right on this thing. Probably have to go down to one contract. <sighs> now I'm using these, you know, lower time frames to try to find entry points. Yeah, I would say down to 12, maybe. I 
I'm gonna get in one there. Take a scalp on that. Dang, should have held it. Alright. Changing my ATM strategies. It's a, it's a little tricky because now I'm trading my PL, right? I keep looking over that 483, being like, I need to make that 483 go away. I need to make that 483 go away, which is a really uh, dangerous spot to be in. Take a scalp on that. I don't know. I don't feel like I got a good price on that. This is now open up to 23. Shoot, should have held it. Dang it. Should have held that. Now this is done. I really like it when I see the bands open up down here and these one, uh, you know, starts trending and we see the bands opening up. I mean, I think it's got room down to 10 at least. You can also see over here, you know, I'm getting out at like 13 maybe. Problem with that, this thing is like your, the drawdown on these evaluations is what kills you. You, know, you short it here and then you pop up the VWAP all of a sudden and you blow your account and then it reverses back and that's what happened to us over here. Damn it. Should have said more conviction conviction in the trade. All right, let's see what happens. All right, guys. So we traded back from the brink there. I think we're down almost 1,100, over 1,000, um, about an hour and a half ago, maybe, hour and 20 minutes ago. Looks like this thing's going to continue to fall down, but I'm completely wiped. Right now it's 10.42 a.m. Europe's closed. It's Friday. She's going to slow down. Um, you know, this whole game, this whole trading thing is just a psychological 
game 100%. You know, I was up about $120, $30 this morning in the live stream, and it just wasn't good enough. You know, I felt like it wasn't good enough, and I needed to get more. Um, and I ended up taking some bad trades, getting chopped up. I believe it was around here, just getting chopped up. Um, we eventually were able to scalp back out of that. Um, you can see all these trades today. This is a bad trading day. This wasn't a good trading day. Coming back from that thousand um, is a nice result, but the means to get there, how we got there, was not not the best. Um, you know, days like yesterday. I had a bad day yesterday. Days like today can really question about. Can really you can really begin to question your skills and ability as you know a trader if this is something you want to do or not. Um, and I should not take today as some sort of, um, I should not be taking a victory lap after today. I, I need to really think about what, what went on today. I knew coming in the market wasn't in my favor, just the market conditions. I'm not good when it's ranging like this, when it's in this chop down here. I'm not particularly good at trading, um, but I decided to trade it anyway. I talked about in the live stream this morning how a lot of these prop firm evaluations, I am doing a, a 25K Apex Trader evaluation. You know, they force you, they don't force you, but they highly, highly, highly encourage you to trade every day. And it's just not sustainable, really, to trade every single day. I really want to wait for those market conditions to to get uh, get in your favor. And um, just know when, when the winds are right for you to take your sailboat out and sail on those seas. Today, winds were coming in all different directions, and it wasn't the best day. So if, if you're new... if People that have watched the channel before know I, I oftentimes equate uh, trading to sailing. I don't know why. I'm not a sailor. I don't live anywhere near the ocean. I have sailed before, though. Uh, but, you know, do you want nice, strong, directional winds out there uh, for you, for a, a nice trading day, a nice sailing day? And today we had winds coming all over the place, creating a lot of choppy waters, and it was tough. But we managed to walk away a little bit green. And again, nothing to brag about. We'll be back again next week trading this thing. Um, if you look at that first short spot I took in, if you, if you were watching the live stream this morning, the first short I took on this downtrend was uh, right here, I think. Actually, I shorted it. No, I bought it here. I got out here. I took this short here, and then I ended up taking This is where the disaster happened, where I lost 1,000. Shorted it here, took a stop here. Shorted it again here, took a stop. Um, I had a bad short somewhere. Where was that thing? I don't know. But I started shorting it up here in this consolidation. Um, and it was the right idea. And then we, I ended up shorting as we broke support and just scalping it all the way down. Uh, it was the right idea. It's just so much size. And if you only have $1,500 in drawdown, it's just a really bad way to do it. You really got to size down and realize, you know, it's not really a $25,000 account. It's really a $1,500 account. Looks like we're starting to move up here as Q&O Delta is going. So with that, I'm going to call it a day. You guys have, and call it a week. You guys have a great week. Again, this is an Apex Trader evaluation account. They're having a massive sale right now. 80% off. There's If you use that coupon code, which is in the description below, X-H-J-Y-U-L-A-Q, that it will give you 80% off your evaluation um, which is, I think I got this for like $30. You can pick up quite a few of them and trade risk-free, or at least you know what you're going to lose, which is just whatever you pay for the evaluation. All right, guys, I'll be back live streaming again next week, um, and hopefully I will see you guys back on the channel soon. All right, guys, take care. Bye.